Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this throw pillow. Now it has an 18 by 18 inch insert. It's super easy to make. If you look closely, it's just the granny stitch, granny square stitch. Very easy. The yarn though is very pretty and it makes the pillow. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Okay, for this project, I am using the Bernat Crushed Velvet. It is a... Uh, it's a bulky number five, 100% polyester yarn. The color I'm using is called cinnamon pie. Now you don't have to use this yarn. Any bulky five yarn will work. Um, there's 315 yards per skein. I almost had enough with one skein, but unfortunately I had to break into a second skein to finish out like one last row. So, so probably 300, uh, just to be on the safe side. Uh, 40 yards probably something like that just to, that's probably be good 340 350 and then I'm going to be using a size I which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook and then you're going to need a pillow insert of some sort um, in this um, you're going to need an eight size 18 inch pillow insert that's what this is it's 18 by 18 I purchased this at Walmart over by the sewing machines um and they're not i think i got a two pack i can't remember how much it was they weren't that much two pack for maybe six dollars but sizes 18 by 18 you can get smaller inserts you'll just have to adjust the number of rows to fit the pillow all right we're going to go ahead and start with the slip knot on our hook now like i said this is very easy it's just the basic granny square that we're doing And we're going to go ahead and work a chain of four. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to slip stitch back into the first stitch to form a ring. And now I'm going to chain one. Now that chain one does not count as a stitch. Okay, I'm going to be working through the center of my ring here. And I'm going to work three double crochets. So there's one. two and three then I'm going to chain two now I'm going to work three more double crochets into the center of the ring one two and three then I'm going to chain two again you can slide them back if you need to three more doubles into the center of the ring there's one two, three, then I'm going to chain two, and I'm going to work three more doubles one more time into the center of the ring. One, two, and three. So now you have four sets of three double crochets, or 12 double crochets. Now to end this, I'm not going to chain two. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a half double crochet into the first double crochet. Just going to yarn over and do a half double crochet like that. Now the reason why I do that is because it puts you right in the middle of your chain space here. That way there's not going to be a big seam when you work your pillow from slip stitching. So we're going to start round two by chaining one which does not count as a stitch now these four spaces are the points of the square so in this first one I'm going to work two double crochets there's one and two and then I'm going to chain one now I'm going to jump over to the next chain two and I'm going to work two double crochets a chain two and two more double crochets in the same chain space. So that first chain space is the only one where we start out working only chain two, or only two double crochets. And then this chain space, we put two doubles, chain two, two doubles. Now I'm going to chain one again. Now in the next chain space, I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna work two doubles, chain two, and two more doubles 
into the same chain space. That's how our corners are formed. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to jump to the next chain two space and I'm going to work two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets. I'm going to chain one and now I'm back to where I started. Now we put two double crochets in the beginning in this space. So I'm just going to put go into the space and put two more double crochets like that and now I'm going to end by putting a half double crochet into the first double crochet like that so in every corner we have our two double crochets and this half double is acting as a chain two and chain twos and all our other ones it's okay if it's, if it doesn't lay flat at first it might not lay flat for a little bit but you're not doing anything wrong if it doesn't so now you'll have 16 double crochets now now we're going to start row or round three and this is actually the repeat round for the rest of the pattern we're going to chain one and we're going to go right back into this first space and we're going to work two double crochets and then we're going to chain one and then we would work three double crochets in every chain one space until we get to our next corner in this case there's only one right here so this chain one space we're going to go ahead and work three double crochets and then we're going to chain one and now we're in our corner our chain two space and that's where we're going to work two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets and then we're going to chain one now we're going to work three double crochets into our next chain one space one two three and then we're going to chain one and now we're at our corner so in the corner the chain two space we're going to work two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets and then we're going to chain one now we're going to work three double crochets into our next chain one space so we're going to work three double crochets there and chain one now we're at our next corner our next chain two space right here and we're going to work two double crochets Oops. chain two and two more double crochets and then we're going to chain one and we're just repeating this all the way around so right here in the next chain one space we work three double crochets chain one and now we're at the end remember we started with two double crochets here in this chain space now we're going to work two more double crochets into it and we're going to end by putting a half double crochet into the first double crochet just like that so that will end round three and now you'll have a total of 28 stitches and you can see mine's not laying flat yet but it will sometimes you got to give it a stretch now it's just a repeat of what we just did on round three so we're going to start out by chaining one and we're going to go work right through this first space and we're going to work two double crochets and then we're going to chain one now we're going to work three doubles in every chain one space until we get to our next corner so you jump to the next chain one space and work three doubles and then you want to chain one and then the next chain one space and work three doubles and 
and then you want to chain one. And now we're at our corner, so we're going to go ahead and work two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets. And we're going to repeat that. So we're going to go ahead and chain one and work three doubles in our next chain one space. Chain one, three doubles again into our next chain one space. Chain one, and now we're at our corner. So we're gonna go ahead and put two double crochets, chain two, and two more doubles. Repeat it again by chaining one, three double crochets in each of our chain one spaces. Make sure you chain one in between them. Chain one. Chain one, we're at our chain two space. For our corner, go ahead and work two double crochets. Chain two, and two double crochets. Chain one, three doubles into our next chain one space. Chain one, three doubles into our next chain one space. Chain one, and now we're at the end. Here's where we put two doubles when we started. Now we're going to end by putting two more doubles into that same spot, and then half double crochet into the first double crochet, just like that. So now we're just going to be repeating that, what we just did for three and four. It's just, you're just gonna get more chain spaces in between where you have to put three double crochets so now you'll have a total of 40 stitches now so every round from now on you're going to have 12 more stitches than you did the previous round and you want to continue repeating this process until you get a total of 13 rounds starting from round one so one two three four we've already finished four and we're going to move on to five so it's not it really is it's pretty quick actually so go ahead and, and keep repeating the same process until you reach 13 rounds all right, now once you get done with your 13 rounds, starting from the round one. Okay, I had to make sure I had 13. Don't tie off. We're going to go around it with a round of single crochet. That way I think by doing that, and my, just my thinking, my thinking so aren't always that clear, um, that it's uh, easier to sew it together that way. So I went ahead and I did my half double crochet into the top of my uh, double crochet there. Now I'm gonna chain one. So in this chain two space, I'm gonna work three single crochets. So there's one, two, you have to slide them over a bit if you can, and three. Now I'm gonna work one single crochet in every stitch across. Sorry, I'm not even up in the camera like that. Now I'm not going to be working a single crochet in the chain space. I'm just gonna skip that and continue working one single crochet across in every stitch, skipping the chain one space, just like this. Until I get to my next chain two space. Just like that. That's just cleaning up the edges. And like I said, I think it's just easier to sew it together with, with single crochet around it. All 
All right, I've made it to my next chain two space and I'm just gonna go ahead right through the chain two space. I'm gonna work three single crochets into that space, just like that. And now I'm gonna continue along the other side, working one single crochet in every stitch. Remember, we're not working in the chain one spaces, just the, just the stitches, the double crochets. And this is what I'm gonna do all the way around my whole square. One single crochet in every double. And now I'm going to put three single crochets in each of the four corners. Just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up going all the way around my square. All right. Now, once you make it all the way around and you're back to your starting point, you want to go ahead and end by slip stitching into your first single crochet here. Just like that. And then you want to tie that off. All right, and you should have 160 stitches around now. So what we're gonna do is you need to make two panels the exact same, which I have already done. And then all we're going to do is slip stitch them together around our pillow insert. Okay, so what you want to do is put one of your panels wrong side facing up. Of course, you want to hide any tails first before these middle tails before you uh, sew it together, get them hidden. But I'll do that in just a second. And then you want to put your other one right side up. So you got the both right sides are facing outward and then the wrong sides are like there. And then we're just gonna slip stitch it together all the way around, but you wanna leave like um, one side open that you can shove your pillow insert into later. So I'm just going to use, you can actually use a yarn needle and sew it together if you want. Well, you know, if it's easier for you, that's fine. I'm going to use slip stitch and I'm going to start up here in the corner and I'm going to get the I'm going to go through both loops on one piece and you want or on one stitch you want to get the matching stitch on the other side so I went through the center single crochet in the corner so you want to go through the center single crochet on this side and then I'm going to chain one now I'm just going to work my way across slip stitching. So I'm going to go in to the next stitch on this side and the next stitch on this panel and slip stitch. Stitch on this panel and then the next stitch on this panel and slip stitch. And I'm going to do this all the way around, like I said, until I have about one side that remains or you want to leave enough room open that you can shove your pillow insert into. And then we'll finish slip stitching it the rest of the way. So I'm just matching stitches and slip stitching. like that now you don't want to do anything special in the corners no extra stitches you just put one just slip stitch in every stitch on both panels all the way around until you have like one side leave it open and that's where I'll meet you so go around three sides and I'll meet you up and we'll shove that pillow in there and then we'll finish sewing it up the rest of the way Okay, I got three sides uh, slip stitched together. Might want to give a little stretch. So I'm going to try to cram my pillow insert in here. Hopefully I can. Just kind of shove it in here. Get it all the way down into the corners. Oh, that fits good. That's a nice fit. Oh, that looks so nice. 
I think that's the nice. As far as all the pillows I've ever done, I don't think I've had an insert fit better than this one. Nice. All right. And now you just continue slip stitching it together in the same manner that you were just to close up this last side. Just be a little bit more awkward now because you got the pillow in there, but. So I'm going to go ahead and finish slip stitching mine up together. So I get it all sewed up. All right, once you make it back to your starting point, just go ahead and slip stitch into that first slip stitch. And then you can tie this off. And then you want to go ahead and hide any remaining tails that you have. All right, once you got your tails hidden, that is it. Let me go ahead and show you here. That's all there is to it. I think it turned out really nice. I really like it. And it's super, super soft. One of my kids will claim this and they'll, <laughs> they'll sleep on it at night. Every time I make a pillow or throw a pillow to put on a couch or something, they always claim them and use them in their beds. So I imagine it'll be uh, Evelyn. She usually, gets, <laughs> she usually gets what she wants. So uh, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Please, if you make this, I'd really like to see a picture of it. You can post a picture on my Bag of Day Crochet uh, fan page. I'll put that link below in the description box. You can come follow me on Instagram. Tag me in the post if you make this. And... Um, also, um, if you look on the right-hand side of the screen, I'll put a playlist of some other throw pillows that are amazing in case you're interested in checking them out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my videos. So until next time, have a good day, everybody.